Hello and welcome to our first of two video lectures about Chapter 7 in Corey Floyd's Interpersonal Communication. This week we're talking all about listening. This first video will cover the hurrier model of listening. No, hurrier isn't what you are when you're in a really big hurry. It's not like, I'm not just in a hurry, I'm in a hurrier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, enough with the entirely hilarious jokes. In fact, Hurrier is an acronym that stands for hearing, understanding, remembering, interpreting, evaluating, and responding. This model describes the listening process. It's kind of a lot of steps when you think about it. I mean, you're listening to me right now. Aren't you just, you know, hearing all of this and now you know what I'm saying? Well, not exactly. In order to listen, our brains have to do a lot more than just hear. But speaking of hearing... This is the first part of the hurrier model. H for hearing. Hearing is simply the physical process that happens when you hear something. Literally, sound waves travel through the air and enter your ear canal and BAM! You are hearing something. Or you're actually hearing things all the time and a lot of the time you're not really listening. Right now, take a pause and really listen. What do you hear? I hear the humming of my computer and the air conditioning in my office. But until I stopped to think about it, I wasn't aware that I was hearing that. So, we hear a lot, but we don't necessarily listen to it until we pay attention. But let's say we did hear something and now we want to move on with listening. Next, we have the U in hurrier, which stands for understanding. This could be as simple as sharing a language. If you speak to me in Russian, I won't understand you. Oh, I might pick up some clues from your nonverbals, like your tone of voice or some body movement, but ultimately, I won't know what you're saying. So we need to understand each other. Sometimes understanding is also impeded by using words, uh, jargon or slang, that our speaking partner might not understand. But let's say we do understand. Next is remembering, which is what the R stands for in hurrier. If you instantly forget what somebody has said, you can't really engage in listening. So short-term memory is tough. As Floyd points out, there is research indicating that we only remember about 25% of, of what we hear, and we only remember about 20% accurately. This is a major problem when it comes to listening. Hmm. Now, after we remember, we need to interpret, which is the I in hurrier. Just because we understand something and remember something doesn't mean we have shared meaning yet. We have to figure out what the speaker is trying to convey. For example, if I said, wow, that's a great haircut, you can interpret that in two different ways. It could mean that I really think you have a great haircut, or it could be sarcastic. You could have a horrible haircut. You have to use contextual clues, my tone of voice, my nonverbal gestures, to figure out what I'm saying. And even then, you might be wrong. Another part of interpreting is to signal to your speaking partner what your interpretation is. This is kind of a way to check to see if your interpretation is correct. The next letter in hurrier is E for evaluating. So now you're evaluating what you've heard. You understand it, you remember it, you've interpreted it. Now you want to figure out if you think the person has said something true or false, or if it's something you agree with or not. You evaluate what they've said. You are evaluating me right now. I, I could be lying to you, but I'm not. Or am I? I'm not. <laughs> or am I? No, seriously, I'm not. Or I'm not. Oh, next we have R for responding. Now, this is where we give feedback. We actually did a little bit of this in interpreting when we signaled our interpretation back, but this feedback may be an actual verbal response or it could be something nonverbal as well. The book discusses several ways to respond, including stonewalling, back-channeling, paraphrasing, empathizing, supporting, analyzing, and advising. I won't go over all of these individually, but definitely check those out on page 224. These will be very useful to you moving forward as a listener. So that's it. Hurrier is hearing, understanding, remembering, interpreting, evaluating, and responding. So, go forth and be an empowered listener. See you in the next video.